Hi everyone, Luke from Paycove here. Today, we're going to go through a brief introduction of Markdown and Liquid Syntax. Once you get a better understanding of these two formatting syntaxes, you'll be able to apply them to your template to personalize it even more. Before we get started, make sure you're comfortable enough with editing your template. For a quick refresh, check out our video on how to customize your template. If you think you have a good enough understanding of working with your template, we can continue on. In this video, we'll cover how to bold and italicize text, create a bulleted list, add a link, apply an operation, and write if-then statements. If you'd like certain text to stand out in your template, you can bold, italicize, or even do both to your text. To do this, simply add a B or an I in angled brackets at the start and end of your text. To bold, use a B, and to italicize, use an I. If you add both, you'll be able to bold and italicize the text. Don't forget to add a backslash where you want the text to end. Another way to make your data stand out is to organize it in a list. To create a list, you can either add a dash or an asterisk to create a bullet point. You'll have to remember to include a space between the bullet point and the text in order for the bullet point to generate. You can even create hyperlinks by enclosing the text you'd like to display in brackets, followed immediately by the link in parentheses. You are not limited to only editing your text in your template. Using Liquid Syntax, you are able to edit specific data sent over from the CRM. You can use operations on number values to either add, subtract, multiply, and divide a number by anything you'd like. Let's say you want to add a tax of the invoice total to display in your template. You can use the custom field from your CRM, or you can just multiply the invoice total by a certain value, let's say 20%. To do this, I'll enter the value for the invoice total, followed by a vertical bar, and times 0.2. Now if we save this, you'll see I'm displaying 20% of 100. Liquid Syntax also allows you to write if-then statements to choose when you want to display specific information. For example, let's say I only wanted an organization's information to display if that organization's name is Paycove Inc. To begin my if statement, I'd start with a bracket, followed by a percent sign, and the word if. Following if, I'd use the value for the organization name and set it equal to Paycove Inc. in small quotes, and end that with another percent sign. Next, I would follow it with the information I'd want to display. So let's add the organization name, the organization address line, followed by the organization city and state. To end the if statement, I would then use a bracket followed by another percent sign and enter in end if with no spaces followed by another percent sign and close the bracket. Once I save this information, it will show the Paycove organization name followed by its other values that I wanted to display. You can also use these if-then statements to display information under only certain circumstances. Let's say I want to display the word invoice for all my invoices and the word quote for all my quotes. To do this, I'd go to the invoice and quote number under template settings. Then begin your if statement exactly like the last time, except now we're worried about the deal type. So if deal type equals invoice, we're going to display invoice. Now we add the word else in brackets after this and write quote. Now if we end this if statement, invoice will display for any invoice and quote will display anywhere else. Since there's only the option between an invoice and a quote, all quotes will now say quote. Keep in mind that the invoice and quote number field will apply to all your invoices and quotes regardless of your template. If for some reason you don't want this on all of your invoices and quotes, you'd have to write a more advanced if statement. We cover this and many more specifics, including if-then statements, in more detail in our second liquid syntax video. For now, this is all we're going to cover in this video. If you're ready to learn more, you can continue on to the next liquid syntax video. You can follow these links for more tips on working with Markdown and Liquid Syntax. Thanks for watching.